we could see dividends in 2024. Does that mean that the worst is behind us? It, uh, it, it does. Uh, there has been a tremendous amount of work that uh, we have done at Piraeus Bank, uh, Francine. And uh, good morning. Good and morning. <laughs> thank you for uh, the invite. Very pleased to be back live in, uh, in a studio. Uh, the, uh, the, the bank has done a tremendous amount of work in uh, reducing non-performing loans, mm -hmm. which was the, the main task. We are looking uh, in uh, 2024, 2025 to be below the European average in, N in NPEs. And this yeah. gives us uh, a green light for a number of things, including dividends, uh, subject, of course, to uh, regulator approval and uh, capital trajectory. But uh, we feel, we feel uh, despite the headwinds and despite uh, you know, the current uh, situation, that Greece is going to be growing this year. Yeah. Uh, the IMF was talking about 3.5% growth, right. and that will be reflected in our numbers. But how worried are you about inflation? So the war in Ukraine, of course, changes everything in terms of the price of oil, in terms of inflation, in terms of the cost of living. How worrisome is that for households in Greece right now? We are taking into account that inflation this year will most likely be as high as 6 to 7% in Greece. And that, of course, will have... Uh, an effect on disposable income. However, uh, we think that uh, uh, this is going to be normalizing in uh, 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 closer to the two to three percent, uh, close to the European average, uh, to the European rate, and uh, we think that uh, this is going to be uh, the norm from 2023 onwards. So. We take that into account in our plan, yeah. and uh, we have budgeted uh, accordingly, and some of those headwinds uh, had been yeah. actually included in our plan. But is it frustrating, and if we look at the share price, it's been, you know, you've had a very tough ride. Is it frustrating that you seem to be doing better now, leaving some of, you know, the things behind you, but actually there was also a general strike on Wednesday to protest rising prices, so that, you know, there are things outside your control that can make it much more harder going forward? Well, that's uh, always uh, a challenge for, <laughs> for a CEO and uh, uh, for a financial institution that uh, uh, has uh, quite a large stake in, uh, in the Greek economy. Uh, we are confident that uh, uh, the way uh, growth is going to be coming up this year, yeah. and that's very important because uh, all the economic uh, uh, commentators are projecting growth of something between 3 to 4% will help us ride the wave and a lot of the inflationary pressures, but also uh, the, the push for uh, yeah. uh, disposable income will uh, be addressed. What's your take on the tourism sector? That, of course, is extremely important to Greece and then feeds also what you get into the bank. That's, uh, that's, that's a very important uh, part of uh, 2023 uh, GDP growth for Greece. Uh, tourism, and I'm uh, glad to say that, with all the work that we have done with uh, a lot of our clients mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, people that are uh, very big in, in tourism and hospitality in Greece, is going to be a positive surprise for Greece. People are expecting that it could be uh, revenues from tourism and hospitality sector mm -hmm as high as 2019, which right. was the best year ever. And this despite the war? And this despite the war. Uh, obviously, after uh, the years of pandemic and everything that is happening, this is uh, plays a role in, in, in people's uh, uh, thinking and, and uh, you know, wanting to, to, to go on holidays and so on. Yeah. It looks like uh, Greece is going to be benefiting from that. And we hope that with about 18, 19, percent, uh, 19 billion right. of receipts, this is going to be a GDP growth uh, underpinning the 3.5% yeah. that uh, people are thinking it's going to be coming this year. I just want to bring the viewers' attention also to the fact that over at NATO headquarters in Brussels, we understand that Mr. Stoltenberg has just started speaking, so we'll keep an eye on what he says. Mr. Megalo, do, do you see any banking opportunities for mergers in Greece or even cross-border at the moment? Right now, I think uh, uh, all the Greek banks are doing a tremendous amount of work in order to produce profitability and each one focusing in its own business model and in its own uh, uh, way forward. We have uh, announced with our business plan 
a, a very elaborate plan for growth mm -hmm. based on the asset management business, on our real estate strategy and our digital. Yep. And our focus is to grow organically over uh, the next few years. That's the pillar of the 22-25 plan.